All right, guys, welcome to my channel today. This is the Juice Rip Current in this box. We're gonna get this thing open and I'm gonna show you the packaging material, which is not unique to this company because I've seen it around a little bit, but I think it's a way better way to package it. It's environmentally not friendly though, but when you see this, you're gonna say, hey, you know, if that was my bike, that's the way I want it shipped. So I do wanna show you that. And uh, we'll, let's get this thing opened up. All right, guys, let's cut these uh, straps off. Nice and simple here. The, uh, there's instructions on the top of this box. I have already looked at them. It's got a SKU number. I'll show you as soon as I get this thing opened up. And uh, it will bring you to how to assemble it. So you can see all these things on the front here. And if you scan this with your phone, it'll bring you to a video that shows you how to do this thing. So what they want us to do is they want us to take this box, flip it upside down, and then we're gonna pick the box up. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, we got the box flipped upside down. Now we're just gonna lift up on it and uh, we'll see what we got in here. Might be easier to do with two people, but let's see if we can do it. Coming a little at a time here. It'd be nice if they put handles on the bottom of it. So that's off. All right, guys, this thing's out of the box now. As you can see, this thing's a giant size piece of foam. Everything's packaged in there really nice. So the first thing they tell you to do is take the tire out. So we're gonna cut the tie wraps. We're gonna pull a tire out and they want you to lay the box down. I also said, pull this thing out. So the charger is in here, I would imagine. Why don't we open this up, check it out. The adventure starts now. It's got a skew on the back, so you can also do that. Got some tools here, the skew for the front, the pedals, looks like the charger, the light, and a, uh, and a bell. So it comes with some accessories. So we're gonna get the tire out now. We'll start cutting these. Uh... So we got the tire here. Fenders here, and uh, we will put these off to the side for now. All right, so we'll take a peek in here. Whoa, look at that. Can you see that? That's pretty nice. I like the color. There's that big battery too. We got the big giant piece of foam. Throw that off to the side. Let's see what's going on here. Got the handlebars. But, all right. So there's the big piece of foam again. Throw that over there. And uh, we'll get the tire on this thing, I guess. All right, guys, got the through axle here and I got to, uh, Put it through the rim here. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna snip this off now while it's on this side of the bike. And anything else? All right, I'm gonna flip this thing over now. And we'll keep on going. Boy, this thing's a nice looking bike. Trying not to scratch it here, cause this thing is beautiful. Put the kickstand down. It's got a gel seat on it. It's gonna get replaced, but it's a nice seat. So let's start getting some of the stuff off here. This is a different kind of wrap they got on this battery. All right, the tie wraps. It's just uh, got a uh, protector on it, I guess. All right, first thing I like to do with these batteries is get them off and get them on the charger. So I'm gonna figure out how to do that. The keys are on the handlebar. All right, guys, we might as well look at the charger while we're here, see what we got. 58.8 volt, two amp hour charger. So no fan or anything. 
Well, I guess it's uh, your typical charger. So we'll be replacing that with a nice 52 volt Luna charger. So now that I've got two bikes that are running 52 volts, I'll uh, spend the money on that. I also found another charger, it's pretty nice. I don't know if I wanna spend $300 on it, but the one charger does uh, all the batteries. So uh, you can have any voltage you want and it comes with all the adapters. It's pretty nice, so I may end up getting it. So I got the battery on the charger now. That's a pretty nice battery. It's not plastic. It's all aluminum on the casing on that thing. So like I said, this bike company started out as a battery company. So they really know what they're doing with the batteries. And uh, like, I'm pretty impressed. Like I said, it's, it's all aluminum. So this thing, I just took it off. It had this little piece of plastic on there to protect the derailleur from getting smashed. A lot of uh, other bikes come in and the derailleur is all screwed up. So this is a nice little feature they put there. So we got four millimeter hex head bolts here. So we'll get this thing off, get the handlebars on. Like I said, there's not a lot on this bike that you got to assemble. I mean, we got to put the pedals on, got to put the handlebars on, and uh, we put the tire on, got to put the fender on, got to put the light on. That's, that's hardly anything at all. This bike here, I probably won't even change out the handlebars. The handlebars are fine. Um, if anything, I might do a stem just for a riser, but we're going to ride it the way it is and see how it is. So. I think I'll stick it there for now. We'll see what happens. Get around the other side of it and see how it feels. So I'm not going to tighten that up too much yet. Seat's down really low, but uh, brakes are loose. Yeah, I don't know. This thing feels... I mean, if the seat was up a little bit, probably like this. Be relatively comfortable. I think I'm going to tighten them up right there. Yeah, this bike is a lot lower than my other bike. I like that because uh, this is a medium frame on this thing as I ordered it for my size. So I like that a lot. So that feels pretty good there. And okay, we gotta loosen up the shifter and it looks like it's got a much bigger. All right, guys, the, uh, about the only thing we gotta do is put the, the uh, pedals on this thing. We'll put the fender on it and put the light on it. I'm gonna end up changing out the light. I got a really nice light coming for this. I got a nice light coming for the other one over there. The seat, I'll pedal with it if I can. If not, I got this one going on it. So this is my favorite blue wind seat. This is uh, slated to go on this thing, but I'll leave that one on for now. That one's on. You gotta remember guys, this one's reverse, so. Nice thing is when these things are brand new, they're so stiff that you can actually use the pedal to start turning it and then finish it off with the wrench. Pedals are on. The uh, rack looks pretty sturdy on this thing and it's rated for, uh, it's rated for kilograms, 25 kilograms max. So I think that's about 50 pounds but I don't know that for sure. And it's kind of a uh, pretty hefty rack here. If you got something on the back here that uh, obviously they have something to fit on it. I don't know what it is, I'll have to look. I know they had a box, a wooden box. Wooden box ain't for me, I can tell you that. So what do we got left? We got the fender and the light. So I'm looking over there, I got a bell that I'm not gonna put on because the bell I have actually has an air tag in it. So I'll put that one on. This bike actually in the battery has a place for the air tag. I know on some of these bikes they were sending free air tags. I have not seen an air tag yet, so I don't know. I should also mention that we got some nice reflectors too. I don't think I'm putting them on. In fact, the ones on the tires they'll be leaving too. All right, guys, we got the fender here. I'm going to put the fender on. It's a plastic fender. Most, it's, most of these bikes now are coming with plastic fenders. I don't really care. I, I, I used to want metal fenders, but honestly, these things are just fine. That's on. No, of course, it's not the right size. Pretty nice light though. It's not a uh, cheap little plastic thing. It's a, uh, it's a fully aluminum 
You know, you pay a little bit more for the bike and you get better quality stuff, I guess. All right, guys, what do we got left on this thing? We got the fender on, the light on, checking the brakes, make sure the brakes work. We've got these little protectors on the brake levers we got to get off. So I just noticed it has a little nut cap in there. These are the two reflectors that we're supposed to put on the bike. And like I said, it comes with a little bell. And uh, I got my own bell, so that's what I'm going to put on. This bike, the way it is, does not have a brake light. It has a, uh, a light on the back here. You got to turn on. It's pretty bright, but uh, I want the uh, brake light. So the kit comes with the brake light and everything. So we'll go with that when I get it on here. But I'm not going to put that in there yet. Um, I'm going to turn this bike around so you can see the other side of this thing. We're going to put some air in the tires. All right, guys, here's the other side of the bike. Like I said, the battery slides in here from the side. Um, this is all boxed in here. There's a channel in the back side here that the uh, wires go in, so you can remove that. The controller's right in here, so when I do the controller, I have to take this out. I have to pull this out. Everything slides down in here, and um, we're done. All right, guys, here it is, the finished juice rip current s and all my accessories are on this bike because i did another video and i failed at it so the motor is a thousand watt buffet that peaks at 1300 watts and that is a nine speed cassette on there and the gears are 11 to 32. All right, the battery is a 52 volt, 19.2 amp hour battery. It's got a handle on it. It's got a gauge on it. And you swing it out, there's a shut off switch on it and you can put it in and lock it so they can't start the bike if you've left it. It also stays on all the time if you want, so it's not an inconvenience. The rack holds 52 pounds, looks pretty solid to me. Got my Rock Brother pedals on there, I like them. That's an air shock on this, guys. First one I've ever had. That light is a pretty bright light. It's aluminum. I do have another one coming, though, that's even brighter. Check out the pattern on those tires. Nice for the rail trail and also quiet on the road. Got my bar extender on there. Got my light. Got my Garmin up there and my camera mount. I put the... The grips on there, I had to. They're almost the same as the factory, but the factory ones would not accept the bar in mirrors. So there's the throttle on it, and there's the screen. All right, guys, I have to block the light so you can see the screen. I'm trying to hit the buttons here. It's not working. Okay, you see that R? That's for race mode, guys. So there you got wattage on there, your mileage, your miles per hour, your battery. Uh, there's four speeds plus the race mode on this. See that wire management? It's minimal, but it looks pretty good. Got my Garmin. Nine-speed shifter, trigger shifter on that. And I got my bell there. I like the handlebars, too. Here's my blue end seat, and the rear light on that is a brake light and a running light. Got a torque sensor on this bike, and uh, I put that uh, chain guard on there. There's a 52 tooth crank on this thing. I'm going to change it to the 58 though. I had ghost pedaling on this thing, especially when you get up to the 30 mile an hour range. All right, guys, this is the heat sink on the side for the controller. The controller slides up into this tube here. I put the 40 amp controller in there and uh, that heat sink keeps it nice and cool. And that motor now will be a 2000 watt motor and it'll also throttle to 30 miles an hour. So the wires go down in this tube here, and you slide this out, you put them all in there. I put my uh, secondary battery wire in there while I was in there, and that comes up, and there's a T60 connector here to connect the battery. So I'll put that battery in the bag in the back, and um, I've got two batteries on it, giving me 40 amp hours of battery on that bike.